Hello. This looks like a very complex problem. A gas in a piston cylinder device is being heated by a candle. As a result, the gas expands and we are asked to find a number of things. Well, we are going to use this problem to understand how heat, work, and stored energy are connected. So let's first simplify the problem. Let's solve it part by part. Parse the problem and uh, develop a methodology. You will find that how simple it is once you understand the meaning of heat, work, and energy. Okay. So the first question first is given uh, a burning candle transfers 700 kilojoules of heat into the gas. So from the language, it's clear the heat is going into the gas. And the first part is, the, what is Q? What is the heat transfer Q? And include the sign. So obviously the answer to question A is very simple. It is already given the heat is going in. And if you recall the sign convention, wind hip, work in is negative, heat in is positive. Now our system here is the gas. So keep that in mind. So if the gas is our system, what is the heat transfer? So therefore Q must be equals 700 kilojoules and that's plus because heat in is positive. So I don't need a negative sign here at all. So first part is easy, but try to understand what happened here. The system, which is a gas, initially has certain amount of stored energy. Now we added 700 kilojoules of energy into the system. As a result, what is happening? The system is expanding, pushing this weight up, doing boundary work. Also, is temperature increasing? Okay, so let's look at part two of the problem. Here we are asked to find the change in stored energy E of the gas. Well, let's go to a new page and write down the formula for the stored energy. We all know E equals Ke plus Pe plus Eu. And, and designating the two states, suppose I call when the gas is in this, in the initial state, suppose we call this state one. Uh, I don't have space to write here. State one. Just this number signifies the status, uh, the, 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 the condition of the gas. So using these numbers, uh, so the so the gas goes from one to two, so the change is the final minus initial. And in the problem is already stated that neglect the change in PE. Gas has very little density generally, and the center of gravity hasn't really moved up that much. So the change in energy boils down to, and of course there is no kinetic energy at all. The gas is, the piston is not, piston cylinder device is not moving at any velocity. So therefore, it reduces to U2 minus U1, which according to the formula is 1.67 times T2 minus T1, because in this problem, they have given us the relationship between U and temperature. And if I substitute the numbers, the temperature has become 600. So that produces an answer of about 500 one kilojoule. So what we learn? The energy of the system, the gas, has increased. The stored energy is increased as reflected in its temperature increase. So when you look at the stored energy of a system, it can change because of a change in kinetic energy, which is reflected in its velocity change, a change in potential energy, which is reflected in its elevation change, and a change in internal energy, U, which usually is reflected in change in temperature. Sometimes a change in phase also is involved. That also can change the internal energy. But in this problem, they have already given us that EU is related to temperature. So this is our answer. This is answer to part uh, B. Okay, so let's move on. Let's look at what is the next part. 
The next part is find the external work transfer during the expansion process with psi. So the gas is expanding. Well, if you recall uh, the definition of external work, okay, so let's write down the formula for external work is made up of shaft, electricity, and boundary work. The rate would be dot on top of each of the terms, but in this case, the system goes from state one to state two, and as a result, it does work. First thing first, do you think that, is there any shaft or electricity involved in this? Of course not, there's no shaft coming in. Look at the boundary of the system. Take a look at the boundary of the system, system being the gas. The gas is simply expanding, pushing this weight up. There is no shaft, no electricity. So obviously the shaft work is zero, the electrical work is zero, but the boundary work is there because the gas has expanded. We know that whenever the, there's a change in volume of a system, boundary work is involved because either the system is pushing things out or external agents are pushing the system inward. So therefore, boundary work is being done and the formula for that is integral PDV, if you recall. So, now the question is, how does the pressure change in this problem? Well, to understand that, remember that your first impulse will be, well, the gas is pushing the piston out, so the pressure inside must be higher than outside. We know the higher outside pressure is 100 kPa. Inside pressure is 200 kPa because there's a weight sitting there, and as a result, the inside pressure is 200 kPa. And remember, at state one, there is no motion of anything. As we heat, the piston slowly rises, and during that time, the piston really is not accelerating. It accelerates for a very short while, but then it moves at a constant velocity. And then, at state two, the piston is not moving anymore. My process has ended. So think of it, what is the pressure inside? So to do so, if you do a free body diagram of the, of the piston, then what we get is that this is what we want to find, the internal pressure. Internal pressure times the area of the piston is what is pushing it up. And the, okay, we'll replace the mass with the force mg over 1000, that's the weight. And the piston has no weight itself. Also, there is outside air that must be pushing the piston down with P0 times A. So therefore, Pi times A equals P0 times A plus mg over 1000. So this is my force balance. M times G, I mean here. Each term being kilonewton. So therefore, if we want to know what the internal pressure is, Pi is given by P0 plus mg over 1000 times A. So the question is, the internal pressure is given by this. If there is a force balance on the piston, a piston is not accelerating. So therefore, this force balance must be true all the time, even when the gas expands. And that means, look at that, P0 is the outside pressure that never changes. The mass on the piston never changes. Therefore, the area of the piston never changes. The G never changes. Therefore, Pi remain constant. Again, you will find a number of animation animations in the test website that explains why the pressure remains constant as a, as a gas is free to expand when there's in a piston cylinder device. Well, well, now that we know the pressure remains constant, in this particular case, uh, the boundary work becomes very easy to evaluate. It's pressure times 
integral p dv as the gas goes from state 1 to 2 becomes p times v2 minus v1 and the volume goes from 1 meter to 2 meter cube and the pressure inside is 2 100 kPa and volume goes to so this is 200 kilojoule. Is this plus or minus? Well, if you go look at the picture, you can see the boundary work is coming out of the system. Think of yourself inside the system, inside the piston cylinder device. You would be pushing this piston up. So it's, it's almost obvious that the system does work against the surroundings. By the way, when you're inside, you don't know what's outside. You're just looking at the piston. So the gas doesn't even know there's a mass over there or there's a special force over there or if the atmospheric pressure is 200 kPa. In other words, the gas is pushing the piston out and it is doing 200 kilojoules of work. And we know from uh, the sign convention, WINHIP, that work in is negative and our system being the gas, work is coming out. So it is positive. So 200 kilojoule is our answer. It's positive work. So therefore, w, dot ex w external, that's the question. W external, in this case, is simply equals boundary work, which is 200 kilojoule. And let's understand that. That means as the gas expands, remember, we found that about 700 kilojoules of heat went in to make the gas expand and 200 kilojoules of work is done by the gas to 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 push the piston out so if you go here take a look at the picture again so what going on energetically is that from the candle energy came into the gas gas temperature increased that means the stored energy increased as well as some energy is going out of the gas as work pushing this piston up. Okay, so let's go to the next part. So we are, we are done with up to part C. Let's go do part D now. Change in E of the weight on the piston, which is a, an area of one meter square. So the piston has an area of one meter square, and we are asked to find, now the weight is our system. And of course, a piston is weightless. That should have been given in this problem. Okay, so in this, in this particular case, take a look at now this mass is our system and we are asked to find the change in, change in delta E of this mass. So delta E for this mass is what? E2 minus E1 Right, so it's changing is potential energy. Of course, its potential energy is changing because the mass is being lifted. Kinetic energy? No, there is no kinetic energy in this problem. In the beginning, the it is sitting still. At the end, it is sitting still, and so there is no difference in kinetic energy. Uh, it is always zero. U two minus U one. We know that even though it's not given in the problem, you by now you know that U depends on temperature, and there is no reason this weight is being heated. Only the gas is heated in this problem. So therefore, the U doesn't change. So the change in energy of this mass boils down to change in PE, which is mg time uh, Z2 minus Z1 over 1,000. Remember, the 1,000 is needed so that the unit becomes kilojoule. So the change in stored energy uh, which is, let me write that down again, delta E equals delta PE equals mg uh, Z2 minus Z1 divided by 1000. And we have already made a, let me go back to that slide, where we did a energy balance, force balance. So this equation we can use, you can see that the force balance on the piston tells us what mg over a is. So we can substitute mg over 1000 from this equation, from this force balance equation, into here, 
and that gives us what? I'm just mg over thousand from that equation you will see is pi minus p0 times a You can go and check that. I just substituted what is mg over 1000 from using free body diagram of piston. Now these values are all given to us. Pi, internal pressure is always 200 kPa. We know it doesn't change. We proved that. Outside pressure is 100 kPa. The piston area is given 1 and the change in height because the piston area is one meter per s one meter square and the volume kind of double so as you can understand uh, the height so it went from one meter cube to two meter cube so therefore height must have changed by one meter so that gives us 100 kilojoule so 100 kilojoule is the increase in the in the in the stored energy of the weight sitting on the piston well that makes the problem very interesting because think about it uh, the 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 gas is doing 200 kilojoules of work in pushing the piston up and if somebody says where does that energy go okay that's the so if, if, if you think about it, you're pushing this piston up. Think yourself inside. You're pushing the piston up. And somebody says, where all the work you're doing is going? Your, your first intuitive answer will be, it must be going into this weight. I'm lifting this weight. I'm increasing its potential energy. But we just found out on part C, uh, the work that we have done was how much? The work was, uh, the, the, the external work, that we have done the boundary work was 200 kilojoule and and in part d we just showed that the change in e of the weight here was 100 kilojoule wait a minute we have done 200 kilojoules of work which is coming out of the gas the gas has done 200 kilojoules about of work and the pitch and the weight is potential energy increased only by 100 kilojoules so what happened? How can we explain that? And that's the last part of the question. Well, that's because the gas is not only lifting the weight, but it's also lifting the atmosphere. If you think about it, the atmosphere is pushing the piston with, with a force of 100 kPa times uh, one meter square, which is 100 kilonewton. So, if, so that's the additional force on the piston force of the atmosphere so when we when the gas is pushing the piston up it not only is lifting the the weight but it's also lifting the atmosphere and in in lifting the atmosphere which is pushing it by 100 kilonewton by a distance of one meter uh, from here to here is one meter by the way you can show that go back to the problem and you can prove that these are the geometry of this problem so the, the gas is pushed the piston by one meter against a force of 100 kilonewton from so you can think like the atmospheric work is 100 times 1 which is 100 kilojoules force time distance so now that explains it the gas does 200 kilojoules of work 100 kilojoules of which is done is stored in this weight because now it has been lifted up another 100 kilojoules is just sent to the atmosphere which just absorbs it so please review this problem so that you can come to terms with heat work external external work heat and stored energy uh, with with keeping in mind keeping in focus what is your system because based on the system the meaning of all these terms will change